an ender. Oh, yeah. it's an ender. Yeah. All right. Well, um, the players have queued in Lothar on Hunter and Nugori on Warrior. And Lothar's Hunter uh, was a mid-range. So how do you feel mid-range Hunter versus Patient Warrior? I feel like Hunter is all right. Yeah, I agree. I think Hunter is all right. It's probably a 50-50, as I say. Like, a good Hunt Master just um, buffing a minion. Green Patron is a combo deck. So in the early turns, he just tries to um, deal with the board and draw a couple of cards, then wins in the late turns. And uh, if Hunter is able to stabilize early and build up a board, he might have enough to, to, to push for damage and win. Uh, there is a lot of reach right now in the Hunters because of Quick Shot. So it's not only trying to top deck a kill command, but Quick Shot into kill command or just Quick Shot and Hero Power is still a, a lot of damage to finish the game. Absolutely. We see the Kazan Mystic draw from Lothar. It makes you wonder if he actually has two of them in there, because we, we kind of see them every time this deck uh, comes out. But um, those tech cards are really good when they work, and not so great when they don't. Uh, in these marginal situations, a card like Kazan Mystic can often lose you the game, uh, whereas in the favorable uh, matchup, it can win you the game. That's certainly true, and uh, a 4 free minion is not really great versus Warrior. On the other hand, Nugori got that Armorsmith. I always wonder if it, in this matchup, if it's worth playing Armorsmith so early, or do you want to keep it when you have uh, a couple of patrons and maybe get more armor this way, or maybe hide it behind the mm -hmm. ghoul. Uh, but it works for Nugori here, he was able to, to clear the board uh, with his spells. Whoa! So there, <laughs> Max no. Knocks that... out! Crit, that's not Maxna. No, man, it's proof. It's proven, guys. Uh, Maxna's a pretty interesting card. Um, it's really not that bad. Um, it's just kind of slow. But uh, judging by the pace of this match, it will see some play and maybe it will have a huge significance. Well, if uh, Lothar plays Maxna and then Nogori sees, oh my god, it is to attack, I can get so many patrons from it. No. And the tax with the face first patron. Oh, well, it does work. You know that, right? It does spawn a patron, yeah. But yeah. then the patron dies and But that's fine. Wait, can you maybe do an infinite combo with that? Yes. With um Alright, we'll figure that out out later. But infinite patron into a minion that maybe deals damage when uh, something comes to play. Right, so um if, if you guys don't really understand what we're talking about, uh, my Exna's uh, kill effect, when it does damage to something, it kills it. That does kill a Grim Patron. It has three health, but when it takes two damage, it dies. But the damage triggers first, so the Grim Patron splits and then is finished off. So uh, the answer to my Exna could, could be Warsong Commander and Grim Patron, and you could just run three of them in, and then you're back to where you started. You end with one 3-3 three, three patron, then you can kill some more stuff. So it does it does have answers. That's why it might have significance this game. But it might I, get totally wrecked. I would like to see that, actually. But then uh, we see Torison from Nugori for the moment, and uh, it hits a couple of important cards, both Warsong and Patron. Actually, this is like when I mostly play this matchup, I faced um, Midrange Hunter as a patron. And what you want is exactly this scenario. Like, you want to be at a good health pool uh, by turn six. You want to play Torison and get those cheaper cards. Also, Nugori is playing Gromash House Scream, and he gets both Gromash and Taskmaster. Gromash being his favorite card. Mm -hmm. um, well, here you don't have much of an answer. You'd want to kill Command, but you can't really. Uh, no. I think the best answer might actually be Bow, Kill Command, and 4 damage face. What about Unleash? Have... Unleash is not aggressive enough. Like, if you do Unleash, um, Kill Command, it's it's not as much tempo. And your next few turns are basically solidified, so I think you win the game by tempo, not your opponent. You're Doctor Booming next turn, so you want... A little late. There's nothing to be done here. So this is the second time the player is actually um, dead, and he decides to play Dr. Boom on 7. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is some significance uh, in that play that we missed last time. Oh man, the girl is just showing the Grumash there. <laughs> <laughs> that emo. What? <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, uh, Nuguri takes uh, the first match. Uh, not a spot Lothar has been 
uh, in this tournament so far. He's uh, he was always ahead against Strife Crow, um, and that was the only match he uh, he played so far. So uh, he's he's playing from behind, playing from behind against three uh, similar decks. We don't we don't exactly know if the archetypes are exactly the same. I think there was some question in the hunter, so we'll get to see that in a second. But uh, I mean, these these decks are strong for a reason. I think at this stage, if you're low threat, you just play whatever you want. You hope for the best. I don't think there's really much strategy involved here. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, basically, you need to win with every matchup. So uh, even if you had a strategy with your lineups um, coming into this tournament, at, at this moment, facing uh, most of the mirror matches, mm -hmm. I think you're just fine trying to to grab a win. Well, with Warrior Gun, is there any better matchup that he can get? If he gets Patron now versus Zoo, uh, that's a good matchup. Versus Patron versus Face Hunter is uh, more or less even. Uh, I haven't figured out which is better, actually. Um, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose versus uh, the, the Face Hunter, so it might be more or less a 50-50. Yeah, it depends It depends what Hunter that is. If that is like a mid-range or a hybrid or whatever, I'd probably just throw out Hunter again from Lothar. Well, mid-range is good versus... Um, it's bad versus face hunter, so yes. But it, I, we don't we don't know for sure if that's what he's playing, do we? I don't remember. I yeah. think I think the there was one face hunter and Nogori was playing last, and I think that was uh, that was it. Mm. Plus, or he's maybe, got that Kazan. Like, if he actually has two Kazans, that'd be a, maybe a decent matchup, actually. Oh, you're right. With with Kazans, actually, it uh, it might change. Mm -hmm. Wait, Nogori was uh, playing double Gleef Zuka, and I think he had Savannah. So I remember it as an aggressive hunter because he played it really aggressively. Mm -hmm. But it might be like a hybrid or. Okay, well, the players uh, have uh, queued up Warrior from Lothar, I believe, and Warlock from Nogori. Um, so a similar type of match that we uh, had just seen, where I believe the, the Warlock has to try to push the Warrior, has to bully the Warrior out of the game. Well, the warrior tries to draw as many cards and uh, kill in one turn with combo. Yeah, overall, it's a bad matchup for Warlock um, because you need to... like Warlock, Warrior will have a lot of ways to deal with your minions. Uh, and uh, at some point, your minions will actually be helping the warrior. The warrior will want you to have a couple of minions so that you can unleash the throwing combo. Or maybe just uh, if you get those minions with small attack like Hunter Creepers, it will only help the, the warrior to get uh, patrons. And uh, Warlock doesn't have any kind of AoEs, so if there's a big patron board, you basically lose. But the, the way to win uh, as, a, as a zoo is to get Nerubian Eggs and um, maybe to get uh, Void Caller into Mulganis. Like sometimes even if you get Mulganis Void Caller, you might even keep it in this matchup. It's so important to get those cards, to get the, the value. Mm -hmm. Well, the zoo is ahead. The warrior doesn't have many options, but he's probably going to be fine on HP to where the point that the death spike, uh, death rattle probably kills off some of these. Basically, has enough time to work with. Yeah, at this point, this is undecided. I think both players um, are still in a good spot. He's thinking about execute because he's kind of taking a lot of damage. Cycling battle rage. Um... If you pick up a whirlwind, that would be an amazing one. Yeah, the the inner rage here is a lot better, I feel. Than a whirlwind? Than the any execute. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Okay. Well, if Lothar uh, decides to put on some pants here, he's gonna kill that void caller, and he's gonna be uh, very well rewarded. You might pants or no pants. I think you might be forced to do it um, because the, the the more time you give the the warlock, you actually give him a chance to set up something. Yeah. Great. No. Going for face. Uh oh. Well, that might be devastating. Well, leaving Void Caller is uh, troublesome because if um, Nugori would have a couple of demons like Void Walkers or Imp Gang Boss and a, a, a Doom Guard, he can actually play those minions, uh, those demons this turn to ensure a big demon coming out. So this might be the exact scenario that will put Nugori in a very advantageous uh, position. All right, um, the slam not too useful here. I think the play is just the frothing. Uh, I mean, you attack now into the Void Caller because you can execute whatever comes out. So you don't really have much of a risk anymore. 
But had you killed it last turn, you would have been in a slightly better position. You would have taken a three less damage, and potentially you would have dealt with a much better turn five from the Warlock. Yeah, that's true. And uh, Lothar will definitely be very happy to not see a demon come out. Okay. Not too bad, but uh, that Frothing uh, has a lifespan of half a turn here. I... I still think that Lothar is uh, in a good shape. Uh, he doesn't have the War Song, which is really important, but he will have Death Spite into Green Patron. So if he's able to keep the damage under control. This doesn't look like under control to me. This looks like death next turn, actually. No. Oh! Wow! Yeah, that's a pretty sick top deck, but. What is happening with Lothar's camera? There's a lot of emotes flashing from time to time. He's just a very emotional guy. Oh, that's for sure. Um, so I like I like the draw aspect. I like um, Whirlwind Slam Execute. Can you still fit in um, the Frolling here? That would be like 3 mana. Not really. Yeah. No worse on still okay uh that's game right seven that's... yeah that's oh no he, he, he gains the two armor right i missed the two armor uh it's probably just doctor room then well it's still game i think how many knives is uh is there this is plus one uh it's, so four eight it's two knives plus one plus uh power of one so it's three plus three plus four it's one off lethal yeah one off lethal so I, I think when you're when you're off when you don't win, you just make the best, the strongest play for the turn, and that is the Doctor Boom. He gets the War Song, but that's too late, so he will not be able to uh, do anything here. And uh, wow, actually, Nugor is uh, taking uh, this bad matchup and extending the lead to to o, to o versus Lothar. Yeah, I don't I don't see any way out here at all. Yeah, Lothar uh, in the same boat realizes the situation, concedes. And he is down two games. How about that? Nugori just has to pull a win with Hunter. And uh, if it is an aggressive Hunter, if it is what you were talking about, uh, that shouldn't be too hard to do as an aggressive Hunter kind of punishes both Grim Patron, uh, Warrior, and a slower Hunter, which is two decks that we know. Well, so it's basically a good matchup versus all three decks. Yeah. Do you think it's that great against Zoo? I think it's, it has a slight edge. It's like slight maybe 55-52%. Mm. Uh, um, mm -hmm. It's definitely not bad. It's like, at worst, it's a coin flip. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just seems like uh, perhaps uh, the deck that Nuguri saved for last might actually be the strongest one against Lothar's lineup. And uh, that's, that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot to deal with. Uh, we've seen full reversals so far, but uh, this is probably the toughest one to accomplish here for Lothar. So uh, I think your Polish bro is uh, is uh, about to get knocked out here, man. Yeah, he is uh, really walking a, a fine line here. But I think this is a good time to actually introduce Nungori to our viewers um, to tell them more uh, about this uh, fine gentleman playing here against Lothar. So we know that he's from Korea, and we know that he is an experienced Magic the Gathering player. He played a lot of tournaments before, even though he's not that known in, in Hearthstone. He did play a lot of Magic. Um, I think this is the second time I'm casting him. Um, he was qualified in other tournament as well. He, he plays in a, a lot of qualifiers, and he loves Horde. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he does uh, have his... Uh, his camera is like a static photo, and it's with the Horde shirt, of course. Maybe that's why he mentioned it, but all right. Um, the uh, the decks, of course, Nugori has to lock in Hunter. It's his last remaining deck in Conquest format, and Lothar is trying the Grim Patron Warrior uh, yet again. Uh, doesn't really matter the order on which you go with here. Um, so, yeah, strategy-wise, it's basically a wash, and you just hope for the best with each deck you queue into this Hunter with if you're Lothar here. Yeah, and what you need to get versus Hunter is uh, some minion removal. Sometimes you even uh, keep the Whirlwind uh, mm. against, against Hunter decks. He mulliganed Death Spite away, so possibly he was looking for that Whirlwind for Armorsmith. Um, 
I don't know, man. Like, I would probably keep the maybe the frotting death spite because you have a minion that can kill stuff. Uh, you don't you don't have a turn to play, but uh, having death spite is important as well. Yeah, um, double world is not too bad, but it does seem like this hand could be a lot better. Uh, also, I don't really know how aggressive uh, Nagorius Hunter really is, seeing the high main and the other few cards here. Yeah, right now it looks like a um, mid-range with Glaive Zukas, right? Yeah, but with the bad hand that Lothar has, this mid-range with Glaive Zukas is pretty damn aggressive. It is. Uh, I think he was playing double abusive as well yesterday. Double Glaive Zuka, double abusive. That's why I remember him being aggressive. Mm-hmm. Puffer? It's always Puffer. Okay, it goes for the killing Acolyte to deny any more draws, which ends up being really good, as uh, I think we would have seen the double whirlwind play come down, which would have been pretty devastating. Yeah, Instead that's... here, we're, we're probably seeing the whirlwind execute play, which kind of sucks. Would you really expect, like, bigger minions? Uh, whirlwind executes, he will be able to... Oh, he's cycling Battle Rage. That makes some sense. Uh, it's not like you're going to get a better Battle Rage. I guess it's still Whirlwind Execute. You want to keep another Whirlwind. Yeah. And you really can't afford to take any more damage because you're still going to be behind at the end of this turn, so... And if Nogori keeps the weapon, you might get the Harrison play. On 5. Yeah, he kept it last turn, so that's certainly a possibility. So for now, from Lothar's perspective, it doesn't look that bad. He took some damage, there is a secret, but he has Harrison on 5, and he has uh, Patron and Whirlwind on, on 6. Uh, you really think so? I think it looks actually really bad. Well, it doesn't look terrible. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he wanted to, uh, he would love to have like weapon before and um, deal with that. But he's still in game, and uh, Armorsmith is a great pickup here. Okay. Um, alright, well he's gonna go with the abusive play here, the double abusive play. And just go face. Just go face. The, what's the secret by the way? Is that the freezing trap? Possibly? We don't know yet, I think. Yeah, with that play it kind of seems like it might be, uh, otherwise you might show some respect for a Harrison. But there is none. Just go face. Yeah, we're totally is freeze trap. So yeah. Pretty devastating here. What do you do if you're Lothar? Um, what you can do is uh, because you don't know exactly what the trap is, you might attack first, see what it is, and then um, maybe whirlwinds. Okay, so unstable ghoul, armor smith, whirlwinds gives you plus two health. And you you kind of ensure that um, Juggler will die. Mm -hmm. So the War Song Commander Armor Smith Worldman play here. Ooh, a bit of a misplay there. But I guess this play was like, yeah, I'm just gonna hope that this is explosive trap. All right. Well, he kind of stabilizes. And then there's high main, so... Yeah, but there's also a Warsong Commander. Uh, the good thing for... Yeah, exactly. Like The good thing for what Lothar is that Warsong is actually on board. And uh, if Nogori wants to, to remove it, he will not be able to play the high main. And losing kill command when you're so much ahead, I think you just slam that high main and go face with the Haunted Creeper. Now that I think about it, it feels like Whirlwind after the attack into the trap is a misplay. Because even if it's explosive trap, you'd whirl in there. Did he attack face or minion? Face. There's just no scenario. And, uh, and threatening lethal if... Uh... Okay, so if you attack uh, the one free with the high main, you will spawn three, three dudes. As Warsong is dying here. Mm-hmm. 
So that's 6, uh, 12, 18 points of damage. 6 more and you're dead. Yeah, but 6 damage isn't that easy to do. That's a death spite, let's say, and... Uh... Slam. Wow. I guess you have to play Slam because as it stands, you're in kind of trouble right now. Yeah. Uh, well, Lothar will probably have a possibility to clear the board. Fireworks is plus 3 damage, so it's not enough to lethal. Um, so he might go for the clears unless he actually... Uh, building a, uh, building a big frotting makes a lot of sense. Just play frotting, then trade into minions. No, I think you have to armor up and you kind of want to play that axe. Why do you like the axe? You want to go face with the axe? Yeah, just in case something really bad happens now. I think like oh, looking at only one card in your clear. in opposing hand, if you build up a big frotting, you're in a good spot. Like you still end up with some patrons after the, the kills, uh, because mm -hmm. the, the patrons will attack into high minions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the hyenas. And you can clear here. And now your opponent has to do something with the frotting. And single kill command. Is that a misplay? That was a little bit of a misplay, I think. Um, he, is, he missed one Grim Patron. Could that be intentional? No, I don't think it's in intentional. Oh, wow, actually. Alright. That's good it. enough. Yeah, he did get it. Crazy stuff. It really felt like the deck was out, but... Um, man, those patrons, when everyone gets in here, it is a crazy time. Yeah, you can turn around those games with Patron versus Hunter. Especially, like, some of the minions, as we could see, are not that good. Um, high main seems great because it's a 6-5, but those hyenas, you can just uh, kill them easily and get minions anyway. Yeah. All right, well, Lothar might just start the uh, the comeback game. Uh, it seems like Nagoria's Hunter deck is fairly standard. He might have, uh, like, a mid-range Hunter maybe tuned a little bit more aggressively than normal. But uh, I feel because it's not face hunter like we we had thought it might be, uh, the hunter mirror I think is actually favored by Lothar. Yeah, because of cousin Mystic. Um, That's right. But I think the players are actually queuing warlock and hunter, so Lothar mm -hmm. will try to to win that match first and before he gets into into the mirror. Yeah. yeah we'll have to see how that goes down. Um, a lot of these uh, Zulok games have been reliant on, like, Implosion, honestly. Like, the win or lose versus this deck is how lucky you get with Implosion most of these games. Yeah, it's but such Hunter, a big swing card. Hunter has a... Well, sometimes it can definitely decide the game if you hit mm -hmm. the 2 or if you hit the 4. Um, but Hunter does have the Unleash the Hounds um, to deal with that. And uh, yeah. I feel like Warlock has a lot of those small combos and small synergies. If you hit them, you are really had like, let's say, PO into Voiter or yeah. Voiter into a big demon. That's why the deck seen, is uh, fun. I've seen a lot of players kind of hold back with a PO Voiter combo. I like the all in. I actually played a, an arena run yesterday with double power on Voiter. So much fun. It is a pretty good combo. I, li I like it as well. I made a 2014 yesterday. 2014? <laughs> yep. And there was no BGH, I believe. Nah. Pretty good. Did you OTK? Or did you have that? I can see it immediately. Okay. That's right. not a great hand from Lothar. It's good enough. Challenge the board, win the board. He doesn't have much of a follow up uh, for the third turn, but the fourth turn is nice, the fifth turn is nice. You just need something here. That is not something. I think we have to tap here. Get an abusive play. I think it's actually worth it to play abusive, and if you play abusive, I think it's worth it to attack face. Uh, yeah, four points of damage, and uh, Med Scientist is still going to trade in something. No point in trading now and giving a secret. What about Nogori's hand? We have uh, we have that Med Scientist uh, giving him a secret, and then we have uh, either Knife Juggler and Leper Gnome to try to snipe the 2-1. Mm -hmm. Well, he wants to see what secret this is, and uh, he very quickly jumped on the Knife Juggler. So uh, this is Snake. We also we actually saw the um, the Freeze Trap being playable. 
yeah. And if this is Snake Misha, it's then an amazing card. No clear. Oh, it's, it's actually Explosive Trap. Oh, wow. Well, uh, that's a bit worse than Snake. And there is the first implosion from Lothar. The funny thing is, four would have been the worst outcome. <laughs> actually, yes. Lucky Lothar not getting four. Oh, man. Always lucky. Reverse luck. <laughs> Uh, but still, Nogori is uh, having the explosive chop and uh, doing some damage. Even the Leper now. Mm -hmm. Not be too obvious. I actually like just going face the 1 1 first, so you have the Leper Gnome as a target for Bane of Doom. Yeah, that's alright. But then, um, yeah, this turn, like, do you really expect explosive chop? That's the, that's the question. You might be expecting Snake. We were expecting Snake. Maybe Lothar is expecting Snake as well. Mortal Coil seems tasty. Uh, Bane of Doom is actually also uh, looking very nice. Okay. This is uh, good sequencing. And it goes in the hands of the RNG gods once again. And a 5 Pit 6. Lord. Really solid. Uh, just not versus Freeze Trap. Well, yeah, I just wanted to mention that uh, Pit Lord with no drawback, but the drawback might occur. Uh, because of the yeah. freezing chat. And Lothar is actually dropping super low, 16 already. Ooh. Flame Imp, a terrible minion against Hunters. Actually, Hunters made Zoo play only one Flame Imp. Like most of the builds, they play only one. You don't want to take free damage. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and you're, you're kind of at the mercy of the Warlock's draws here. Having a blank on turn six is really tragic. Yeah, no Hymen will hurt you. But then you do have Unleash, and uh, you have Juggler as well. So it doesn't look terrible um, for Nogori. He has the Hero Power, a very powerful ability that he can use every turn that makes Hunter a very strong class. There is a Void Scholar, uh, which might be important because of uh, Mulganis, and that's... Uh, I'm about to say the game. Yeah, he can kind of play Malganus here. I think you don't want it yet. Like, you're staring at six points of damage, and with the kill command, it will be ten. But if, if, like, if you don't do that, the best play is Dr. Boom. If you Dr. Boom, you actually die. Yeah. Well, you're still in a bad position. So uh, when you're in a bad position, you might actually go for the best possible play, assuming that you don't die and uh, mm -hmm. you can get that Mulganis at any moment anyway with the Void Caller and PO. So he wants to deny the beast. Okay. Well, that is it, isn't it? Five, Five creatures. Uh, you don't even need a juggler. Yeah, definitely. Uh, five creatures, hero power, and uh, abusive whatever. He definitely had it. Right. He has quick shot now, which is even better use. Well, this means that Lothar is actually eliminated. He went for Strife Crow. Yeah, and it also means that I believe Nuguri is the last qualified player to make it through into our semifinals. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah, and uh, a player from Korea. So we actually. Are we going to have a full representation? Uh, we'll have a player from Asia, a player from uh, Europe, and a player from NA. I guess so. But who's from Europe? Oh, we have Gara, right? Yeah, so we have a uh, European. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it. Lothar uh, is eliminated. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, the bracket here in a second, we can see what our semifinals uh, will look like. Uh, the semifinals will be uh, coming up uh, pretty soon. I think we're going to kick it off with Trump versus Dog before we see Nuguri play once again. Um, and uh, yeah, should be some pretty good stuff. Trump versus Dog, the winner of that will be playing uh, the winner of Gara versus Nuguri in our finals shortly after that. Pretty exciting stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Uh, again, we are disconnecting still a little bit here and there, so I apologize for that, but uh, we are kind of doing our best here. So stick with us, guys. We'll be back in just a few minutes, uh, and we'll get, get those semifinals underway then. <laughs> 